Does anyone know how I just got to this mic? Um, I walked here. Uh, I have I have peds, you know. I'm a pedestrian. So why, when I play music on the street, I'm supposedly pedestrian interference, interfering? Um, why is it that I can't play music anywhere I want if I'm not impeding anyone? If I'm not being if I'm not harassing anyone? Why are these still things that I have to face every day? Why do I have to be prosecuted in such a way that makes me out to be some kind of like bad person? I, I don't see how this is even fair. But what I'm trying to say is, I guess, I feel like this is the first step to the rights agenda to begin their process of gentrification. That once you get rid of the people playing music, that you've already taken about maybe 60, 70% of the homeless population away out of your sight, but they're still there. You cannot sweep us under a rug and forget about us. You cannot pretend we are not people. You cannot tell us that we're impeding traffic when I can easily say the same for the person who's in my way. You know, I'm not going to write a ticket like for, you know, music is my way of walking and you are impeding me. You know what I'm saying? I, I really didn't, I had a bunch of things to say. Also, I'm speaking for someone else who said, why isn't there enough communication between us? Why do we have to wait for this day to talk to you when you're not the ones really making the laws in the first place? It's your representatives, it's your, it's your sponsors that are making the real decisions. You guys are products of that. And I, I, I don't see how this is fair, how this is justice, how this is any kind of like order. And I'm confused. I want to talk to the person who says that I can't play music. I want to talk to the person who says that I can't make a living off of what I love, you know. Um, um, uh, I feel like my words are falling on deaf ears, that you're looking right through me. I feel like no matter what I say, things aren't going to change, even if I voted for it, because someone with more money in their pockets has more say than I do. And I have nothing. I have a notebook in my pocket. I, I, I'm just, I'm sad, honestly. It hurts to see the world come to this, that we have to sit here and beg to be able to express ourselves, that we have to come here again when you said that you guys were going to make it right. That, uh, that busking was going to be something that could actually be fair and actually be, a, we, be free and up and down 4th Ave like it used to be. It used to be that way. I know you guys remember that. There used to be music all the time, and now there isn't. Thank you. Up next is um, Cheryl Selby followed by Honey.